Hi there, and welcome to the Crafters of Ireland YouTube channel. My name is Neve Cooper, and I'm a writer and a publisher, and I'm also a broadcaster for Crafters of Ireland. And with me today, I have Maura O'Connell. Welcome, Maura. Hi, Neve. Thanks for having me here. I'm delighted to be here. Lovely to have you. And so, Maura, you are from West Cork Casting Studio. That um, is correct. And you are with us today to talk a little bit about your business. But before we start, Maura, I do have to mention that you have just been awarded Businesswoman of the Year with the Network mm. Ireland West Cork yeah. branch. So that's absolutely fantastic. Tell me a little bit about oh, how that came about. Leave that. I mean, it's it's actually beyond a thrill because um like my business is creative and as a creative person, that's what I want to spend my time doing, making stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, rather than businessing, you know, I find that but difficult but I make myself do it because I want to succeed I want this to work and mm -hmm. um, so I joined the Network Ireland about three years ago knowing I would need a bit of backup and support and that's what I got there and this year I entered the Businesswoman of the Year Award in the Creative Professional category mm -hmm. and I won it that's so incredible. I mean honestly to say it's a, yeah it's so exciting and it's such a validation for me as well just confirmation that okay you've, you're going on the right way you know you're doing things correctly well done so yeah. I'm thrilled with myself oh it's fantastic yeah. and especially Mara considering that you actually only recently enough took the leap into working in a creative way because before you were actually working in the city um and then yes. I believe you yes. took you took I, I had a permanent and pensionable job <laughs> yeah and you gave I it all did, up I took I gave it all up yeah I gave it all up for love Fair um, but, <laughs> yeah. uh, well you know I worked I worked in the city yeah uh, for like 10 years I got married we were pregnant with the first baby and um we both preferred to be out in the country for raising children so yeah that's what we did we moved west we moved to west cork 10 yeah. years ago I beautiful down you. here i mean the mountains <laughs> i'm just looking out the window i have a standing stone in the field next oh. to me here beautiful that mountains is. where you know short jive from a couple of beaches it's i mean it's the city forget it now <laughs> thanks but it's yeah it's been wonderful so i i set up um I, I set up maybe three or four years ago doing life mm -hmm. casting. Like all the work that okay. I do here at the studio is about family mm -hmm. and it's about family connections, holding um, memories. So with the life casting, it was all hand casts. I was doing mm -hmm. a family groups together because I think I think we're very familiar with hands and family. And yeah. when if you see the hands of a loved one, particularly say an older person, a grandparent or an older parent, mm. it, it brings them closer, I find, and that you've got memories of them. Them. Yeah. And so I had spotted this, the jewellery, this is just a little fingerprint piece, myself and my husband, it Beautiful. was our anniversary recently. Ooh, so I had spotted this work, thank you very much. <laughs> um, I spotted that and I felt it was the same kind of sentiment as the work I was already doing in that mm -hmm. It's very personal keepsake, you know, only only I could have made that print and only Gav could have made that print, you know, yeah. that's what makes them special. And yeah. it took lockdown for mm -hmm. me to um, do something about it because I, I was getting busy with the life casting. Yeah. So when I knew lockdown was coming, I went and I got myself a whole load of tools and equipment and, and sat here for months trial yeah. and error the amount of silver I wasted is just not even funny <laughs> to be honest but it, I got there I perfected it yeah. <laughs> I learned how to do it and then you know by the time lockdown the first lockdown was ending mm -hmm. um, I had all, I had been keeping my social media up to date and telling people what I was doing so by the time I was ready to launch, I had customers. I had people looking for That's this product. Fantastic. So, and Maura, I, I hit mean, the ground running. You certainly did. And I mean, from what you were saying to me, I understand live casting is when people come to your studio. Yes. And yes. You actually have, you know, quite a fleeting moment, really, if you think about the time that yeah. a baby is small or a toddler is small. Absolutely. And then suddenly there's a yeah. lot of beautiful yeah. idea. But then, of course, with COVID, all that mm -hmm. had to stop. So suddenly you probably find your, found yourself with time on your hands. And, oh, yes. And learning, yeah. always learning to create this, this new branch of your business. Yeah. Well, that's 
be phenomenal. Um, I actually love the idea as well of the little keepsake. Um, so how does it work though? Because obviously people can't come to you. Yeah. But, um, yes, it do. You know, so explain maybe to everybody who's watching, how would I go about if I So if I wanted to commission a piece from you, Maura, you might mm -hmm. explain to me a little bit the process. Absolutely. So it's there, there's a couple of ways to do the fingerprints at home. The mm -hmm. first way is really, really easy. It's you need paper, a pencil and some sellotape. Is so like I, I'll just give you a, like one little story there. So okay. I had a customer contact me. Her friend is due to retire. Yeah. And her both her adult children, they're like in their 20s. So they were living. They've been living in Australia for the last mm -hmm. number of years. So obviously couldn't come back for yeah. their mom's retirement party. So we got in touch with them. I sent them the little video of how to mm -hmm. basically you, you create a little box with your a dark, dark pencil. OK, fill it in. If you rub your finger around in the pencil mm -hmm. uh, graphite, you've got that and you take a piece of sellotape over yeah. your finger and when you peel it off the print is on the tape oh, fabulous. and but then like all you need to do, do in school. <laughs> it's, yes absolutely it is yeah yeah it's, it's good fun to do with the kids at home mm. and so if you if you just put that sellotape on a white piece of paper take okay. a good sharp close-up picture of that okay and send it to me then wow. I can use that image I have all kinds of gadgets and machines downstairs in the studio to create stamps that I can impress into the silver so we got the two prints from the two lads in Australia wow. and you know the funny thing is the detail is so good on one of the prints there was a kind of like a smudge or something mm -hmm. so I got back in touch and said what's going on here is that actually your print oh yeah yeah I'm an engineer my fingers are full of scars that's just a little <laughs> scar which actually made it more precious I thought because yeah. But, you know, for the customer, only her son could have made that yeah. impression. That was very easily done. And, you know, in, in a matter of, um, you know, less than an hour, really, I could have a print back and get starting, get to work on something. Brilliant. Um, so it, it has opened. I mean, it means that I can have customers right across the globe now. I was just going to say. As opposed to anyone yeah. who could just come to my house, you know, to get the yeah. casting done. So, so suddenly, it's opened up a lot. Yeah, suddenly the world has opened up to you. And I think you said as well, there was there was a grandmother from Chile, I believe. Yes. Yeah, that was another lovely little one. So her daughter is living here now with mm -hmm. her Irish husband and they've two kids here. Yeah. So again, obviously they haven't seen Gran in a couple of years now at this stage. So hard. So we yeah. took the two little boys fingerprints and made it was a lovely little charm uh, bracelet oh. we made for Granny yeah. and that went off to Chile. So and Lovely. I mean, you know, it's it, like I say, it's just the, the fact that they made that mark yeah. and only they could have. And it's uh, it only has meaning for granny, you know, um, So and it, and it makes it perfect in that way, I think. And, and I suppose when you're when you're finished um, making the, your products, I mean, it is sterling silver, isn't that right? Oh, so absolutely. Really yes. Quality yes. as well. Yes. Yeah. Sterling silver. And I, I would do all my findings. And Tell me now, Maura, um, how did you um, become involved with Crafters of Ireland then? Do you know, it, it was kind of funny because I had been looking around um, because I, I knew where my skills were lacking to be honest okay. you know and mm -hmm. I, I knew I had to teach myself things like marketing and promotions and I, I was yeah. getting there with that well and obviously I've won an award as well yeah, so, well, there you go. so I had <laughs> learned something but I had spotted crafters and was looking at the website mm -hmm. and before I knew it Bernie had contacted me so we, yeah. we were actually watching each other fully. Yeah. and funny. I had I had a great chat with Bernie and mm -hmm. You know, right from the first cut, well, we had a quick little chat. She introduced herself and said what she was about. Yeah. And it seemed to me like it was a good fit because, yeah. like I say, she has all that business promotion, marketing mm -hmm. skills. She has all the contacts. She's, she knows and so many people. Knowledge. And also, absolutely. I mean, and, you know, and interest. In, interest that's what I felt she, from her. I Such felt interest. she was interested in me. She yeah. was interested in my business. Mm. And that's how I like to do businesses yeah. with people. I you know, agree. Um, 
I get a lot of emails and uh, texts saying, I can do this for you. I can do that for yeah. you. And half the time they don't even say, they, they haven't even bothered finding out your first name. Exactly. And they don't, I don't really understand you know. what you do. Whereas I think no. Bernie takes the Bernie, time. Yeah. She, she talks to everybody individually. And I mean, I suppose you can tell she has worked with local enterprise offices and, you know, she's got such a business head on her. Yes. And it is quite an easy application process, you know, I believe as, as a crafter. Um, yeah. And I suppose then you you pay a monthly subscription fee, but then, I think yep. what you get out of it is just phenomenal in terms of promotion. Yeah. And, well, and look, here we are and this wonderful exactly. video. And, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. and the American, and, she'd had the American, um, we had the expo to the Irish uh, right. American Business Association. Yeah. She's been in touch with so many people. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. Great. And I suppose as a, as a crafter, you just want to um, get on with creating and you don't want to be spent I mean you have to spend time on the business side as you say and you have won an award but many of us creatives just want to create and um, yeah and on that note Maura I will let you get back to your, your <laughs> let me go and create <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> but it's been lovely to talk to you and, Shalit, and Jamie. I, I'm in West Cork as well so you never know we, we uh, probably run yes, it we'll each find a beach a someday and meet <laughs> up <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> lovely listen mind yourself Maura and um, all the very best with your business thank and you look, business woman of the year an accolade <laughs> indeed well done and all thank you so much and thanks to bernie thank you yes, thank you <laughs> take, take care, care. Bye. bye